Hi, I'm Emma, and this video is actually going to be a more serious topic for me. And it was inspired by one of my best friends. Her name is Christine, and she's a dream come true in my life. Um, now, if you know me, you probably know that I have an extreme problem with my body image. I don't think I'm very attractive. I don't think I'm very thin, and it has been with me ever since I was a little kid. Um, now, I have actually consistently felt good about my body for maybe a total of five days. And if you don't know me, that is actually an extremely huge deal for me. Um, but aside from body image, I think one of the more important things to focus on is the importance of recognizing mental image and how you perceive yourself. Ever since I was a young teenager, I have not liked myself. Um, looking in the mirror, I could not only... I could not look at myself physically, but I also couldn't look at myself internally. I thought I was horrifyingly ugly on both sides both ends of the spectrum, and I don't think anyone should have to feel that way. Um, when I was 13 years old, I had actually started uh, self-mutilation, cutting, um, and that became a huge problem for me, and it still is to this day. Um, I fight it a lot. Sometimes I have not been able to fight it as well as I want to, um, but I try my best, and that's all I hope to do, and it's always, like I said, it's always haunted me for years, and especially going into my freshman year of college, I had a really hard time with myself uh, mentally. I don't know what happened, there's something snapped in me and so many things went wrong. I succumbed to an eating disorder. I did not eat at all. And it still kind of affects me today. Once you go there, you really don't ever fully recover from it. It's still in the back of your mind and you can't ever get it out of your head. And unfortunately, I had cut myself a couple times. And I went to a counselor for a couple months. And I had known ever since I was a small child that I had problems with anxiety. And when I was a teenager, I knew that it was starting to take over my life. And I did not want to live like that anymore. So I went to the doctor. And he told me things that I had known for years. and. I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, and dysthymia, which is chronic low-grade depression. And I was prescribed medication for it. And I remember at that moment when I got prescribed a medication, I was happy that I was finally going to be treated for it, but then again I was so horribly unhappy about it because I was so ashamed. I mean, no one in my family has had, well, no one, like my brothers and all that, they haven't had that. And I never say anything about it because no one will give me the time of day to either listen to me, believe me, or care. So it seems. And it's a struggle to deal with that. And I feel like there's something horribly wrong with me all the time. Because I just feel like I lose so many people and I feel like so angry and lonely and depressed all the time. And I can't get away from it. And it's been there for years and I feel 
so ashamed from it. Because I shouldn't feel that way. So at the end of the day, I have a life people would kill for. And I can't let go of so many emotions that I feel. And especially the one that I'm not good for anything. And people don't care about me. And to be honest, like, when you think about it, it's not true at all. I mean, I'm horribly flawed, but I have these so many people in my life that still hang around me for some crazy fucking reason. I, my boyfriend, Chris, is a dream come true. He's been there for me ever since I found out that I was moving, which was probably one of the hardest times in my life. And I felt like I had no one. And ever since then, I really felt like I had no one. And I have lost so many friends to moving and not being there physically and changing. And they can't accept who I am. But you know what? There are people that still are there that tell me every day that I'm beautiful and I don't get it. But I think I'm starting to. Because everyone has their problems and they just wear a mask. And that's what I've done for 19 years until this video. So if you're watching this and you're from Keller, Tulsa, Clarkston, Tempe, Atlanta, Marietta, Parquet, New York City, New Canaan, anywhere. And you still have in your heart to accept people for who they are on the inside. Then that really says a lot about you. Because you could easily run away from me. And I would totally understand. But a lot of people haven't run away from me. A lot of people have stuck by me. For years. And... <laughs> It's not easy to be friends with someone like me, but I guarantee you, you don't. If you have the same issues or something that's different, I will be there for you any time of the day. Because you're beautiful on the inside. And you should never be ashamed of who you are, what mental illnesses you have, or if you have cut yourself, or done something to make you feel better. You should never be ashamed of that. Because it's who you are. And there are people out there who will love you no matter who you are. I think I'm finally starting to realize that. 